head over to BoardGamePrices.com to see the best price for the Grizzled Armistice and thousands of other games. The Grizzled Artemis is a 2-4 player campaign-based game set in the Grizzled world where you're going to be trying to get through 9 chapters of the war. Each player will get their own painted miniature. There's a tutorial to help you learn the game, and there's 9 chapters which will have you go through different cards, different challenges, and add different things of the puzzle to the game. But it is campaign and not legacy, so you won't be tearing up anything and you can replay this scenario through all the chapters again once you've gone through it. Generally in the Grizzled, players are going to be playing threat cards that have different threats like rain, masks, snow, and bullets, and you're trying not to ever have three of the same threat or you've lost the mission. But you're also trying to play as many cards as you can because if this peace sign is shown because there's no cards and you're able to play all your cards, you've won. But you have to be careful because the cards in your hand at the end of the round, that many will get added from the morale drop to here, and if you ever see this monument, you've lost the game, so it's a balance of hand management working together cooperatively. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here, and the Grizzled Artist Miss has great production, has a good tutorial to learn how to play, and the early chapters are a lot easier than the original base game, so it ramps up good. Uh, I like it slowly integrates new mechanisms between chapters, it adds a lot of variability and new puzzling natures throughout the entire campaign, and some of the things you do will unlock in the middle of the campaign, sometimes to the end, uh, and certain things will help you or hurt you or score you points or not score you points throughout the thing, and throughout the entire campaign, and I like that aspect. It's not legacy, so it can be played through again. You're not going to be tearing up anything. So overall, I really enjoyed it. On the negative, you do really need to play with the same group throughout the campaign as things change quite a bit. Uh, and you can play a single game uh, outside of the campaign, but you cannot. Uh, there's not rules for the original base game to play with it. And the two-player game is not that good because you have to use a memory element. But overall, this is a fantastic way to play the Grizzled. If you've liked the Grizzled, this is kind of a no-brainer. If you didn't, this might be the one to get the Grizzled Artismus. The overview in this video was shot on a Watson model game topper. Upgrade every game you play with the ultimate gaming accessory, Game Toppers. Shipping now. Check them out at GameToppersLLC.com.